Hello, there's Charlie back. One of the things I most often ask about is headshots. Now, I'm frequently asked to help people you know, pick out their headshot or uh, choose a photographer, recommend a place to have them printed, and so forth. And I'm always glad to help. Uh, even though I've addressed the subject several times before, I thought maybe we should review a few things for you. It's true that a good headshot is probably one of the most important tools that an actor has. And until you get a good one, you really aren't ready to go to work in the business. I mean, if you don't have an agent, how do you think you get one? Send the agent your headshot and resume. If you don't have an agent, how do you get a job? Send the casting director your headshot and resume. So if you don't have a headshot, you really just aren't ready. My good friend, the late Bob Fraser, used to say that a headshot is just a door hanger. You know those pizza offers that you find hanging on your door, Bob? What do you do with them? Look at it, throw it in the trash, right? And the next week you get another one hanging on the door knob. What do you do with it? You look at it, throw it in the trash. And the next week there's another one there. You do the same thing. And the next week, ah, uh, there it is again. Only this time you're gonna have a party, so what do you do? You order a pizza. A headshot's the same thing. You just keep sending them out and eventually somebody needs what they see. Now, let's look at some of the questions that I get about headshots. What's the most important thing about a headshot? It should look like you. I mean, well, when you walk through the door, we should recognize you. That's why it's important to keep your headshot current. If you change your hairstyle or color, or if you gain or lose a significant amount of weight, if I suddenly grew hair or cut off my mustache, eh, then I need to get a new headshot and change your look dramatically. What about makeup? Well, a headshot is not a glamour shot. I mean, all you really need, you ladies, is just you know, street makeup like you normally wear. See, we want to see your laugh lines and the scars and the freckles and all those other charming flaws to your complexion. Now, if you wake up with Mount Vesuvius on your forehead or something, it's okay to get that Photoshop that out because it's not usually there. But you don't need a lot of retouching. You want to see what looks like you, a good honest shot of the real you. That's what we're trying to capture. How many shots do you need? In my opinion, you really only need a couple of shots. Uh, you should have a close-up smiling headshot that shows your eyes, shows your teeth, uh, shows the shape of your face, and that's going to be your commercial shot. Then yeah, you can have a more serious or dramatic shot if you want to, uh, something where you're not smiling. That'll be your theatrical shot, your television shot. Now you can have as many shots as your bank account allows, but you really don't need to print them anymore. I mean, if, if you need a, a specialty shot, take a quick digital shot and send it off. Why would my, my agent asked me to do a shot of the grandpa, you know, with the glasses on the nose and the plaid shirt and all of that. And I told him I'd have it done, get them printed up for him. He said, oh, don't bother to print them. Just do a snapshot and Dropbox it to me. Uh, I found out that way, you know, I, I have a, t a telephone in my camera. I found that out. Amazing. You probably have one in yours, too. Well, anyway, 98% of the first submissions are online anymore, so you really only need a hard copy when you go to the audition. And remember this, folks, never go to an audition without a headshot and resume. That's just, like, completely amateurish. Another thing to remember, because most of the time the casting people are going to be looking at a very small picture of you online. So full body and three-quarter shots really don't work that well anymore. What we really want to see is your eyes. Another thing that's changed, too, is the use of color. You know, in the old days, the black and white photos, uh, usually you wore charcoal, subdued colors, you know, like charcoals and pastels and so forth. And now, because usually the first thing you see is a thumbnail size shot, well, the brighter colors uh, can help make the picture stand out. So don't be afraid to wear color. A lot more I could talk about, um, but hopefully this little overview will kind of be helpful to you. Uh, you might always want to ch check, uh, oh yeah, check the About Headshots uh, article on, the, on my website, charlieactor.com. There's a good thing in there about how to get that perfect headshot. And by the way, a great place to have your shots duplicated is www.printheadshots.com. They are amazing. Their turnaround time is terrific. Their, their prices are very good, and they do great work. Okay, that's kind of it for now. It's kind of long anyway, so we'll see you next time. Until then... Oh, reservoir.